expected to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the, the teeth right of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Now in the box, number 79. Watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. It's really hard to put together one of those monumental seasons. This guy's got a shot at the Triple Crown, hitting well over 300 in his last 10 games. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Yeah, I get it, Matty. The team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Can't be happy with the way they played, but they have to find a way to relax a little bit. Everybody goes through these little stretches, these little valleys throughout the course of a long season. This team should right itself, and it needs to start today. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Ball, that's inside. Three balls, two strikes. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. Upper Decker. Kennywood's open. 6.29. A solo shot down the line in right. So he creeps ever closer to triple digits. And the Pirates are staked to a 1-0 lead. One to go to Ty Griffey for seventh so all time. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. 